Yeah, it's obvious what happened. It's really obvious. You know, obviously between rich and poor, accentuating the reality of gentrification that's been going on for 10 years or more under all different colours of government where they smash up the council housing and they build these nice shiny new apartments and townhouses that no local people can afford and even actually some professional people can't afford people I work with who are journalists who struggle to pay their rent and they have decent salaries so what's it like for ordinary working class people well the sad reality is that more and more nurses cannot afford to live in inner London. More and more bus workers cannot afford to live in inner London. Firefighters forced to live in Cheshire or elsewhere because they can't afford to live near to where they work. All of these issues are part of the big picture as to why there is crime in the first place. There's also the bigger picture as to why the police police in the way that they do. So they're there to basically oppress people and that's what they've been doing and that's why we have three young black men dead. On Monday would it be the, uh, um, the meeting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really All right. I will make sure nothing happens. Trust me, no one is going to target like No, them. we were just wondering if there's, because they're setting up stalls over there, we were wondering if there's going to be, there's going to be like hundreds of people. We'll just there should be, there should be hundreds of um, people. Edmund da Costa, a few weeks ago, and outside of London in Nuneaton, a man called Darren Cumberbatch was killed after being attacked by police with a taser. Uh, and that is an issue because they're rolling out tasers to more police officers. All in the Midlands somewhere fighting for his life. So if you add that up, that is something of a massacre of black people going on in this country. And you don't see much about it in the media. You see the odd reports. You see more reports when there are bins burning. In fact, you see more reports in the media in the United States of America than you do in Britain. And sadly, we have now have a situation where the police in this country have taken it upon themselves to become the judge, the jury and the executioner. I say that because they claim that two of the dead had packages in their throats, which is very interesting. Because if any fair-minded person looks at the video, for example, of Rash Charles, it's a very strange way to get a package out of someone's throat by strangling them. In fact, it's uh, murder, I would suggest. Um, so we're not going to stand for that. Um, and people get upset by violence. They talk about the violence of last night, for example. There wasn't that much violence, but I noticed. But anyway, they talk about the violence of last night. But what about the bigger picture of the violence of three dead young black men in the space of a month? That is the real violence. That is the real incitement. It's not activists inciting the youth of Dalston. Sadly, it's the police that are meant to protect the citizenry of this country that are doing the incitement, 